Want to know a great way to boost your mood almost instantly? Yeah. Give your friend or loved one a hug. But not okay. just any hug, a 20 second hug. According to research, yeah. that's the average time it takes your body to release oxytocin. So hold on tight. Yeah. Not, not, not one of those little tiny hugs, like a hug. A little pat. Me... Drew, come over here, buddy. Come Yay! on. Point. It would be my, my pleasure. Aw, okay, start the clock. Who loves it, Start buddy? the clock at 20 seconds. We're going, we're going back, buddy. Aw. And while they're hugging. All right, it's 12 years. years. Keep we've, going. We've keep going. We've got dogs together. Oh, keep going. Family is getting Six, sick. Six, and... five, oh. three, two. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, my God, that, that was... was that one of the good. cutest things you know I've what? ever After seen. You know what? After about 10 seconds, I was know? fighting it. <laughs> and then I saw you just relax into it. At, at the end, I will confess, the, the, like 17, 18, 19, yeah. 20 seconds, I feel calmer now, Drew. Thank you for that. You well, needed I, those 20 seconds. I, I will say that I saw a body language shift in you, Dr. Travis, that after the first 10 seconds, you just kind of sunk in. Good. Next time you're at the grocery store, don't pass up this vegetable that is power packed with vitamins A, C, and K. I'm talking about rapini. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, let's Come give on, it up for rapini. It looks like broccoli, but rapini is actually related closer to the turnip. One serving has 34% of your daily value of vitamin C, 21% of your Vitamin A, 180% of vitamin K of the recommended amount. It's it's often referred to as broccoli, broccoli rob. rob, spelled R A B E. They serve yeah. a lot of this in Europe. They do, and you know I think vitamin K is a fun one to talk about because we don't talk about the fat soluble vitamins very much, but mm -hmm. this one's really important. A D E in, and K. Yeah, it's there important in blood clotting, important in bone health. So a lot of data that this is actually really worth adding to your diet. What and do you it, think, guys? its taste is much more intense than regular broccoli. Good fats. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan. I what feel do you like think? I'm in Italy. Mm. Yeah, it does they feel don't... very Mediterranean. It does. Yeah, it has that strong taste, but not too heavy. Worth incorporating. Everyone knows that fish can be really good in your diet, but a recent study is giving us a reason to take the bait. The study published in the Journal of Internal Medicine looked at over a half a million people for 16 years. Both men and women who ate fish like salmon, cod, haddock, cut their risk of cardiovascular disease by 10% and had a lower risk of mortality overall. Men had a 37% reduction in chronic liver disease mortality. Women had a 38% reduction in Alzheimer's mortality. Question, docs. Do you have a favorite fish? Do you eat fish? I do eat fish. What's your fave? I actually like catfish. Really? That's a southern thing. Catfish yeah. is good. I like catfish. I, I do too. You like catfish? I, I, I like a nice bronzino, a sea bass. See, I like catfish. He likes bronzine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, also, it's also where you're from because if, you know, I, I like I'm a big halibut, fan of locally, locally caught fish. Halibut's great. I love oh, salmon too. Yeah, halibut's but, good. But a halibut may be my fave. Yeah. yeah, it's a good fish. The one caveat I would add here is just make sure you're watching the mercury intake yes. because some of these predator fish can build up really high levels of mercury. So just, just be aware, especially, especially pregnant, pregnant women. Yes, pregnant, breastfeeding. This doctor's prescription is one for all the parents out there worried if they're giving their kids the right things to eat. Turns out that a common staple might have more benefits than once thought. What is it? Good old PB&J, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Would you like to join me in a PB&J? White I will bread? Join you. Doesn't that look good? I love PB&J. It's great. Everyone loves these, right? Thank you. Well, let me yeah, pass down some napkins. Well, recent studies show that there may be some health benefits yes, to PB&J. Yeah, so there was a study and they, they looked at 9,000 females ages 9 to 15 and they found that when they ate peanut butter with nuts, 
twice a week, they had a 39% lower incidence of non-cancerous breast disease. Mm. Now that's important because some non-cancerous breast disease can be associated with breast cancer later. So mm -hmm. essentially they were saying eating peanut butter with nuts can ultimately decrease your incidence of breast cancer risk later. High in fiber. Uh -huh. Good healthy fats. Yeah. How can you get even more health benefits from the popular spice turmeric? How? Well, Dr. Orton, Judy, Dr. Batra, and everyone else, add a little black pepper. Ooh. Curcumin, which is the main compound in turmeric, chock full of health properties, anti-inflammatory, etc. Problem is, oftentimes that gets destroyed in your gut before it can get really absorbed into your system. There's something known as bioavailability. That's so important. It's not really how much of a nutrient you eat, it's how much is actually absorbed and then used by your body. Bioavailability, very important. Curcumin rapidly metabolized. One of the beauties is, and this is according to the Journal of Food Sciences and Nutrition, if you consume black pepper with your turmeric, not only can it enhance the spice's bioavailability, in one study, and this was at the US National Library of Medicine, adding black pepper to turmeric increased bioavailability, not by 1% or 2%, by 2,000%. Oh, and black pepper alone has piperine in it, which is a metabolism booster. It's a great thing to add to your meals. Every morning when I make my eggs, turmeric, black pepper. Yum. I like this. Sounds weird, but it works. No, it doesn't. That's yes, a great combo. Does. You may have heard of FOMO, the fear of missing out. I hadn't, but now I do. <laughs> but our doctor's prescription today is JOMO, the joy of missing out. <laughs> That's right. The next time you're spending time alone, instead of focusing on what you might be missing, Think about what you're gaining, and you will gain something. There are some real health benefits to alone time, including increased creati creativity, productivity, and empathy, not to mention the rest that you're going to get of just tuning it all out. And this is all based on science. Uh, SUNY Buffalo did a study, alone time equals increased creativity. So there's science behind this. I do it all the time. I believe that yeah. when I see my friends posting festival pics on Instagram, I think about the terrible parking, and I think, oh, I'm so glad I get to go to my yoga class by myself, and I'm just so grateful, right? Yeah. It's, it's amazing. You love hanging out with yourself. Oh, I sure do sometimes, yeah. yeah. I mean, people are cool, but I love me time. At the same time, you want to balance it out. If you only want to be by yourself all the no, time. No, you don't want to be a recluse. But you do need Point. some, but you do need some me time. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I think the importance of being unplugged can't be overstated. I mean, we talked earlier about the social media cleanse. There's actually true data, like you said, out of University of Michigan, where they're saying that about 40% accountable for teens is tech in terms of lack of empathy. So that's that's substantial, that, yeah. that really we're so plugged into our devices and not plugged into ourselves or plugged into each other, that it's playing out in so many downstream ways in terms of mindfulness and empathy. Which of these health benefits can be attributed to ingesting cherries? Is it A, easing arthritic pain, B, reducing post-workout soreness, C, lowering blood pressure, or D, all of the above. So audience, I know you're smart. You watch the doctors. What do you think? A. Go to the head of the class. Yay! The answer is D. All of the above. And I know we didn't we didn't just work out, but we can still drink it anyways. Do you incorporate this, Dr. Brian, in your routine? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, there's many studies that show the benefits of cherries. They're very anti-inflammatory, really good for gout, arthritis. Yeah, I had never heard that, and I, I have some, in fact, my PA, who I'm yeah. very close to, has pretty severe gout, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get him yeah, some cherry juice. You got juice. that yeah. big toe pain? Cheers, yeah. Cheers, absolutely. And as far as muscle soreness, it actually is really good for that as well. Uh, there was a study done where long-distance runners actually ingested this tart cherry juice right here. It is here. tart, isn't it? This chart, yeah. And they were actually less sore after their race. So very good for muscle soreness. And another benefit is in helping lower uh, blood pressure. It's loaded with a substance called polyphenols and it's a great antioxidant. And there was a study done where actually men with early hypertension actually were able to reduce their blood pressure by 7%. 
I well, like this. This, this yeah. is a trick I can use. And it's organic. This, so, this is yeah. great. And you, yeah. can, yeah. you can dilute a little bit if you're watching the calories because there is some yeah. sugar in here, right, Doc? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So you, you do want to watch that, but it's, I love the tartness. Yeah, I do too. But like I said, it's yeah. something practical you can do, especially if you're going to the gym and you want to prevent the, the post-workout yeah. soreness. Just grab some a little cherry juice tart before you cherry work juice. Out.